If you buy something from a Verge link, Box Media may earn a commission. See our ethics statement, G. Editing. A new gaming PC is a bit like opening Pandora's The Box when it comes to deciding what to play. With frequent releases on Steam, a never-ending flow of free games in the Epic Games Store, a plethora of indie art house games on itch.io, and countless other launchers and storefronts to install and choose from, it can feel like the Netflix effect of paralysis by choice. So if you got yourself a new PC for the holiday, or even earlier, this list of excellent games released this year is a primer on what to consider. Some may be no-brainers because they are the biggest releases of the last few months, but others should not be overlooked. Related, Microsoft rebrands Xbox Game Pass for PC to just PC Game Pass. Many titles featured here can be downloaded and played via a PC Game Pass subscription, the PC version of Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass, while subscribers to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate get access to games on both Xbox and PC platforms. Whether you prefer to buy each title individually or subscribe to gain access to many, here are our top games with which to initiate your new gaming PC. PC Game Pass and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Many game titles can be downloaded and played on a Windows PC via PC Game Pass subscription, while subscribers to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate get access to games in both Xbox and PC platforms. Halo Infinite. This may be the most obvious first choice, as it's arguably the biggest game release of the holidays, but Halo Infinite's open world promises to be both a technological test of PC hardware and a compelling title for some throwback solo campaign fun. Combine that with free-to-play online multiplayer that launched early, and Halo is back, baby. Now, there are some oversights and key features missing at launch, but there is still a lot to enjoy with Halo Infinite in its current form. It hopefully only gets better from here as they eventually expand it with campaign co-op and continue to grow the multiplayer. Related, Halo Infinite campaign review playing the hits. Halo Infinite multiplayer feels like an exciting return to form. Halo Infinite, ba da ba boo ba da ba boo h h h h h. Forza Horizon 5, what happens when you mix together a ton of cars, playground games, open world arcade racing franchise, and the beautiful landscape of Mexico? You get the best racing game of 2021, complete with AI drive avatars based on your friends list to challenge you. Part of the fun of Forza Horizon 5 is you can play it however you want. Looking to embrace its hardcore motorsports side? There are cars and courses for that. Want to take it off-road in the mud in the muck? That is year 2. Prefer take it easy and just enjoy driving around? The rewind feature makes it easy to undo any careless errors that could cost you a race before the Horizon 5 makes for a great pickup and play experience and there's a lot to experience among all the cars and environments. Related, Forza Horizon 5 is the perfect portable Xbox game. Forza Horizon 5, get out of my dreams and into my drive avatar. INSCRYPTION. It doesn't have to be spooky season for you to get into one of the top indie hits of the year. Inscription is a horror-themed deck-building card game with a blend off rogue like loop progression. The real trick though, is how the game keeps changing things on you as the story progresses. We're not going to get into spoilers here but be prepared for some unexpected turns. Even if you're scarcely a fan of card games or escape rooms, even if you just played a couple of games of Magic the Gathering as a kid or did one escape room with friends at their peak a few years ago, you should try out Inscription. It may not put your PC's graphics to the test, but if you have a good monitor with quality black levels, you can really immerse yourself in the creepy aesthetic as you play cards and sacrifice little monsters to battle your eerie AI opponent hiding in the shadows. Related, Inscription is part card game, part horror, and all-consuming. Inscription, long live spooky season, Back 4 Blood. Back 4 Blood is the spiritual successor to the Left 4 Dead franchise of four-player co-op zombie shooters. It not only carries a similarly styled title but also maintains some of the original Left 4 Dead developers of Turtle Rock Studios. Now, Back 4 Blood merges the classic cooperative FPS action of Left 4 Dead with a modern take on power-ups based around a card system. The cards make each session feel a bit different, keeping you on your toes as you mow down hordes of zombies and have to adapt to what fate draws you. Aside from the cards, the weapons and quip-filled characters are the stars of the show. Get yourself three friends to team up with and blast zombie after zombie until you've had your fill. Back for blood. Use your brains to help. Your delicious brains. Age of Empires 4. The Age of Empires series is old enough to be past its college life and struggling through a middling job while living in a crummy apartment, but Age of Empires IV is a captivating new sequel that feels just like its roots. Anyone who has played a classic RTS before will be right at home here, though judging by conversations in the Verge Slack channels, that home is a very addictive one. Age of Empires 4 expertly scratches that itch for base building, true placement, and 
massive battles. The campaigns are quite dense but be sure to try playing as the Mongols for a new twist on the old formula with hit and run tactics in. Mobility being the new keys to the game. Related. The team behind Age of Empires 4 wants you to learn history while playing the game. Age of Empires 4, Quilolo, Death's Door. There is no prettier game from 2021 than Death's Door. It's enough of a joy just to look at with a lush world that's beautifully animated, but the gameplay feels part Zelda, part Dark Souls, and all satisfying when in action. The Nintendo Switch release just came out last month, but playing it on a PC to ensure the visual sorry as juiced up as possible does wonders to make this lovely virtual space as immersive and captivating as can be. Don't sleep on this indie hit. It's a great way to spend a dozen or so hours of your time, and come on, the protagonist crow is just so dang cute. Death's Door. Reap those souls, little crow. Hot Wheels Unleash. Imagine you're a kid again and given an unlimited budget to build and race the zaniest Hot Wheels track you could possibly imagine. Now, even better, you're in adult and instead of tying up all your money in floor space and plastic tracks and 1 to 64 scale die cast metal cars you can play hot wheels unleashed but before you write this off as a kid's video game you must see the dedication the developers at milestone put into all these toy car models there are 60 cars for you to collect and race with each one lovingly rendered down to its tiny toy details with visible vehicle damage that looks a whole lot like the way Actual Hot Wheels develop wear and tear. Add those visual stylings to the high-speed racing with split-screen support and you have a fun arcade racer that looks and plays great on a high-end PC. Hot Wheels Unleashed. Flames make everything faster. A Aliens Fire Team Elite. If a game like Back 4 Blood sounds appealing for its co-op chops but you feel that zombies are a bit tired, check out Aliens Fire Team Elite. This is a three-player third-person shooter pitting you against the xenomorphs of the storied Aliens franchise lore. There's a touch of RPG passive buffs to choose in your class loadouts, but in the end, it's alien shooting fun with friends. Keep your comms open and your tactics tight because these acid-blooded monsters like to swarm. Hey aliens fire team elite. They mostly come at night, mostly. Psychonauts 2. Few games have had such critical acclaim and fan anticipation for a sequel as the original Psychonauts. Now, 16 years later, the classic double fine action adventure game finally gets its follow-up. Just like the original, Psychonauts 2 is brimming with charm, excellent voice acting, and fun writing that while lighthearted. Elsa tackles some deeply personal themes. It feels a bit like an older game, for better and worse, but with a fantastical level design that is supremely unique. Psychonauts 2 takes you on a journey of joyous platforming and thought-provoking empathy. Don't pass this one up, especially if you already have a subscription to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or PC Game Pass. Psychonauts 2. Why do my teeth hurt? Boomerang X few games exhibit a sense of speed and agility quite like Boomerang X. The first-person action game is all about maintaining momentum as you fly around. Arena be way of your character's thrown boomerang. Throw it at enemies to slice them up then vault towards it for aerial combos reminiscent of the visceral. Mid-air stunts of old quake rocket jumps. The visual style and lighting of Boomerang X ensure that each arena is fun to explore and the enemies keep it fresh and challenging. While Boomerang X is also available on Nintendo Switch, I believe playing it with a mouse and keyboard is the better experience. You get more pinpoint control, and it truly feels like a shooter of a bygone era with very fresh ideas. Boomerang X. Visceral Boomerang Action in First Person. U-M-U-R-A-N-G-I Generation. Okay, so I cheated a little. Boomerang E Generation first came out in 2020, not 2021. But double check that headline and do the math consider this just in. Added bonus because I cannot pass up any opportunity to recommend Umu Rangi Generation and its macro DLC to anyone. The Nintendo Switch version did come out in 2021, but while it does feature new tilt controls, I believe it's worth playing this excellent indie darling on a PC for the best representation of its awesome visuals. Umu Rangi Generation is a first-person photography game that drips with style and weaves an excellent narrative through environmental storytelling. Enjoy its vibrant aesthetic, expansive photographic camera controls, and fantastic soundtrack by Thor High Heels, all while the sense of dread sets in from its post-apocalyptic world. Remember, even if you don't want to watch the world burn, you don't have a choice. Umu Rangi Generation and Macro DLC. Cops come here to kill us. In this stream, our favorite apps, games, and entertainment from 2021 for all of your new tech. View all 11 stories.